So this video is for a powerful tool that not many people know about and it's called Google Forms Prefilled Links. So I wanted to show you how I use this and um, how to create one. So first before I get with the tutorial of how to do it, I wanted to show you basically what it is and why you want to do this. So first you would just basically start with your Google Form. So here's the just regular Google Form. So this is one is where teachers would have to fill out um, when students are filling their classes. But then with the pre-filled links, what I'm able to do is I'm able to pre-fill in a lot of this Google form, like student first name, last name, ID number, with information that I can run a report from out of our gradebook system. So that's where this spreadsheet comes from. This would be a sample of a report that I run out of our gradebook and attendance system. Um, so that's where I would get all this information. So that first one was for Harry Potter, but then if I come down here to Ron Weasley, then you'll see that Ron's information is now in the Google form. But then now this part where what's the problem, why is the student failing, that I can't run from my report. So teachers would still have to answer this part. So it saves teachers a lot of time, but it also gives me better data because teachers would type in like the wrong ID number or misspell the last name. Um, or do the ID number of one kid when they were filling the form out. So it just it saves teachers a lot of time of filling these forms out, but it also gives me better data. So to create these pre-filled links, you're going to start with your form, and you're going to click on the three dots and get pre-filled link. So this is going to open up a new tab, and it looks like you're just filling out the form like a teacher would, but instead of submit at the bottom, it says get link. So what I want to do is I want to pre-fill everything that um, I can run for my report on my spreadsheet. And so to give myself a hint, and you'll see why I do this in a second, but I do everything with capital letters and then no spaces in between. And so you can do this on short answers, you can do it on how I did on that drop down, um, you can do it on multiple choice questions, so anything that you're going to want to be pre-filled is where you want to fill this out right now. And then so again that information I can get from my report here I don't know why the students fill in the class this is the information I need from the teacher so I leave those blank and then I click get link. So I'm going to copy this link into my spreadsheet. Now first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to do the hyperlink formula and now the reason why I do the hyperlink formula is like for here where it says care magical creatures these pre-filled links don't like it when there's spaces in between so the hyperlink formula fixes that for me or if like a student has two last names then that would mess up too so I just I use the hyperlink formula and then I'm going to do parentheses and copy in my formula or my link and then I'm going to do like here it says click here for pre-filled form so yeah, I customize that you can make this say whatever you want so for this tutorial I can make it say like, wow oh, I spelled hyperlink correctly so now it says wow but now if I click on this it's going to just have the information that I typed in but now the so the reason why I did this in all capital letters like that in no spaces so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna edit this link right here so now what I'm gonna do so actually the next little trick I wanted to show you I'm gonna do parentheses and sign and sign parentheses so I'm gonna replace this for each of those keywords that I put in this link right here so where it says teacher last name, I'm going to highlight that and replace it with parentheses, sorry, quotation marks, and sign, and sign, quotation marks. Then between the and signs, I reference the cell that that was. So that said teacher's last name, so I'm going to reference the teacher last name column. So then now I go to my next set. So this is why I do the capital letters to make it easy for me to find. So student first name, so then I do quotations, and sign, and sign, quotations, and then student first name. Reference that cell. And then so all those that are pre-filled, 
I'm going to go in and reference those cells. So ID grade level course description. Okay, so now when I click on this, it should have all that information filled out. So Harry Potter, his ID number, what grade he's in, what class this was, and then this information is where the teacher would go and fill out the form. And then now the nice thing is, and so again, I can change that wow to say whatever. So click here for pre-filled link. And then so that way I don't have to do this for every single individual entry. I just copy and paste down that formula. So now if I come down here to Luna Lovegood and click on hers, then now Luna's information is into the form. So then teachers just go in, answer the questions of why the student is failing the class, and then hit submit. So it saves teachers a lot of time, but it does give me better data. And so that is how I use Google Form pre-filled links. Thank you.